let's have a quick overview of the extrajudicial settlement of an estate. What is extrajudicial settlement and how does it work? An extrajudicial settlement of estate is the legal process available for the heirs and beneficiaries to manage and distribute the properties left behind by the deceased. If the person who owns the property dies, the heirs can execute a deed of extrajudicial settlement with the assistance of a lawyer. This process does not involve the court, hence, extrajudicial means out of court. It is essential that all heirs must agree and cooperate in executing the extrajudicial settlement of estate. When does extrajudicial settlement of estate apply, and what are the requirements? First, the decedent dies without the last will and testament. Second, there should be no outstanding debts at the time of extrajudicial settlement. Third, heirs are all of legal age or minors are represented by their judicial or legal representatives. Fourth, settlement made in public instrument, for example, deed of extrajudicial settlement of estate, must be duly filed with a register of deeds. Fifth, there must be a publication of the fact of extrajudicial settlement in a newspaper of general circulation once a week for three consecutive weeks. Lastly, there should be a bond to be posted with the Register of Deeds if the state includes personal property. Depending on the intention of the heirs, the deed of extrajudicial settlement may be executed simultaneously with other contracts involving donation, waiver of rights, or sale. To simplify, an extrajudicial settlement of estate is just one among many ways to transfer the ownership of assets in an estate to the heirs or beneficiaries. This process allows for a more straightforward, efficient, and cost-effective method of transferring and dividing a deceased person's estate among the legal heirs. For more real estate updates, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Facts Matter a friendly reminder from Verizon Group Real Estate Company.